If you feel shit today, if you feel like nothing, that you're worth less than this rapper, you deserve it. You deserve to feel or be the person you are now. It was you who made the choices that led to your current position. It was you who decided not to go and learn something new, to go on a run and to eat that cake. If you're fat, no one is responsible for that, except for yourself. It was you who decided to eat 5000 calories, sitting on a couch and doing absolutely nothing productive. Oh, the world is so unfair. He has a Lambo, has nice friends and has a good physique. While I'm sitting here in my hole, having nothing valuable in my life. He, 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 he just got lucky, that's it. No, he isn't lucky. He decided to be successful and worked for it every day. He was improving yourself while you were sitting on a couch watching TikToks. The world is pretty much a fair place. It's like saying that, why did he manage to cross the finish line first if he was running fast and I was sitting on the start line doing absolutely no movement? The world and people here are weak mentally. They seek doing this awful and wrong stuff that keeps them in comfort instead of actually sacrificing their time and energy to become someone better, someone more valuable. And then they sit around and wonder why their life sucks. Like think about it, people are doing same useless shit over and over again for decades and then wondering why their life doesn't change. Of course it doesn't, if you continue sitting there, being miserable and making absolutely no change. In 5 years you're gonna become even more miserable and also older, therefore having less energy and power to make a significant change. It's much easier for a man to learn something new, to try something new in their teenage years or 20s instead of 30s. For example, I learned how to speak English, my second language, in about a month when I joined an international school 4-5 years ago, while my dad is still unable to speak German even though he studies it for 1 or 2 years. Best time to start was 3 years ago, the second best time is now. So how do I make the change? How do I take control of my life? The answer is pretty simple, super simple. Fully take responsibility for your life, for your actions and decisions. It is you and only you who can make it better or ruin it completely. Be responsible for your own actions. If you are not disabled of course or don't have any syndromes from your birth, there are no excuses like, ooh, I'm so unlucky, blah blah blah. You are lucky indeed, you have both functioning legs, both working arms, others may not have them, you do not realize how lucky you are indeed. You may have something that all other successful people wish for, you may have supportive parents that will always help you and push you forward, you may have great friends around, you are lucky at some point. Do not make excuses, what is the point, you only delay your action and achievement of your goals. You have to work and embrace the process, not sit and try to lie to yourself that you cannot overcome the obstacles that are in front of you. Nobody cares, you only lie to yourself. It is your responsibility to make a change and live a happy life. There are so many things that you can do now that will improve you and even your position. You can go for a run, freeing your mind from all the stresses. You can start lifting weights, marking your first day of building your dream physique. You can learn a new skill that will give you multiple of new opportunities. Or you can scroll through your feed on TikTok. It is your choice and you who is going to suffer or enjoy the consequences. As Napoleon Bonaparte said, most people fail because they sacrifice what they want most for what they want in the moment. Think, am I doing the right thing? Is it a momentary urge? or a long-term goal that I'm working for. Make the right decision. Take responsibility. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye.